Hi, and welcome to Paige's Planet. Today we are going to be talking all about turtles. Learning some turtle facts with Paige. Turtles have been on Earth for approximately 220 million years. That's during the Triassic period when ichthyosaurs swam through the sea and pterosaurs soared through the sky. There are numerous different species of turtles, tortoises, and terrapins, and some of them look and behave very different from others. However, all of them have that turtlerific shell. A turtle shell is made up of an upper part called a carapace and a lower part called a plastron, where the carapace and plastron meet is called the bridge. The lovely designs on the back of this shy gopher tortoise's shell are called scoots. All right, friends, it is time to define once and for all the differences between turtles, tortoises, terrapins, and sea turtles. Turtles, tortoises, and terrapins are all technically turtles, but not all turtles are tortoises or terrapins. Let me explain. Tortoises live on land and have the elephant-like feet to prove it. Terrapin is just a term that means small turtle. It can refer to some species of freshwater turtle or turtles that live in salty marshes and estuaries like these very playful diamondback terrapins. Sea turtles are just the seven species of turtles that live in the ocean. The general term turtle can be used to refer to all of these as well as several species that are left out of these groups like one of my favorites, the soft shell turtle. Tortoises live on the land and terrapins are very small. Sea turtle refers to the seven in the sea. Turtle can mean all three. Most species of turtle have relatively long lifespans and some tortoises specifically have some of the longest lifespans in the animal kingdom. I have had some turtle experiences lately that are just too cool not to share. Recently, while I was out doing a little exploring at Brooker Creek Nature Preserve, right on the path I came across this mommy turtle laying and burying her eggs. If you watch closely in just a second, you might see an egg drop right into her nest. How incredible is this experience? Mommy turtles do not stay with, protect, or feed their babies, so all she does for them is find the perfect place for them to incubate. She's carefully picked this sandy area. It's far enough away from the water not to flood, and she's burying them down deep enough so that hopefully no predators will find her little ones. Recently, when I was out doing a little snorkeling and filming, I came across this gorgeous sea turtle. He checked me out, quickly decided I was too big to hang out with, and took off. It was such a treat sharing space with such a prehistoric, beautiful animal. I felt so fortunate to have gotten my first sea turtle footage. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic week. I hope your holidays are amazing if I don't see you until afterward. Remember to like, subscribe, share if you like this kind of thing. All right, guys, I will see you really soon. Bye-bye. An awesome place to spot freshwater turtles is anywhere around a freshwater lake or river. Look near the bank and on trees. They love to sunbathe there. And I gotta say, it is kind of nice.